Quite. That is chocolate. Tell everyone. So could you be learning how to measure the speed of light in the kitchen? Okay. Later, students. After six months, you don't know your time to us. Okay, you are genius. How do you call it in Arabic? Zaki. Yes. Zaki. Ah, that's you. What are you doing with the door? Right. Did you shut the door? Yeah. Okay. So, starting again. So, hello everyone. Today we're learning how to measure the speed of light in your kitchen. Not the speed of light inside the kitchen, just using the microwave uh, in the kitchen. Uh, for that, we need a microwave, working one. Uh, we remove the tray from inside and remove anything that would make it spin because we do not want it to spin. So, now I keep the plate. Uh, two blocks of chocolate I have. If you have one big chocolate, that's fine. You can use a block of cheese too. I like chocolate, so we're using chocolate. So it's two of them next to each other from the flat side, not this side. Flat. Uh, we place this inside the microwave. A low heat for a few seconds. Um, usually it's around 20 seconds. But the good thing is you can. If you do a few seconds and low heat, you can always check, you can add the time and do extra if you need to, okay? Uh, but if you do a long time, uh, it would completely ruin the experiment. So chocolate, microwave, calculator. If you are like me, you don't need calculator even. And uh, ruler to measure the wavelengths. So who remembers how we measure the speed of light? What's the formula for it? <laughs> frequency times wavelength. Uh, frequency, frequency times, times, times wavelength. Uh, that's the speed of wave. So yeah. we talk about the light sound. Uh, so chocolate inside. I'm starting it is like 30 seconds, but I will stop it when it's around 20. Sir, yes. Can we eat the chocolate? Can you, you already think well, about you eating the chocolate? chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> we might. So it's been 15 seconds. I'm just going to stop it at 20, see if it can result. I'm getting some result, but I'm going to leave it longer. Who are you thinking about chocolate? Are you going to have your breakfast this morning? No. So it's been. 30 seconds, I think 20 would be enough as well, but, so I'm gonna come around and show you, there are two points uh, in this chocolate that they are melted, okay? So, have a look, this point, this point, you see this one, nothing happened anywhere else. Let me show you the camera and then, show it to you. So, what do you think those points are? The wave. The waves. Which part of the wave? The, the crest and the trough. Peak and trough. So I'm going to measure this. Okay. Uh, these two are peaks and troughs. That's correct. Okay. They are the point we have the highest amplitude, either positive or negative. Um, so if I measure this, is this the full wavelength or not? Yeah. This is a half. So I'm going to measure. Okay. So because you can see the wide area is melted. So you just do the center to the center. Okay. So from the center oh. to center, I have like 6.2, let's six, let's say six. Six centimeter. Okay? So so far we have six centimeter. Someone wants to have a calculator to do the measurement. So six centimeter we have to times it by two. That would be our full wavelength, which is 12 centimeter. Yes. But don't forget we have to convert it to meter. Okay? So you convert it to meter. Meter. So 12 centimeter converted to meter. Oh, so divided by. 0.12. Uh -huh. That's a meter. So that's our wavelength. What do we need now? Frequency. Where do you find the frequency? Whatever T. Time. But you don't have the T. How? Are you? Time. What is time. No, 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 no. Time period got nothing to do with this time. Oh. That's different thing. That's. Oh, that one over 30. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Microwave frequency. That's correct. Time. Where do we find it? In the back of the microwave. So here, the back of microwave information sheet, here it says microwave frequency, 
So we have 2,450 megahertz. So you have to times that by 2,450 megahertz, and that would give us the speed of the wave. 294. 294. 294. Okay, so that's not in megahertz, obviously. So if you turn that to the conversion, to the correct unit, you would get um, 2.94 times 10 to the power of 8, um, which is very close to speed of light in the vacuum. And that's the speed of this microwave wave, but remember we did say electromagnetic waves, they all have the same speed. So that's the speed of light. And your kitchen, yeah? <laughs> That's the speed of light because the same speed as microwave has the same speed as light. All electromagnetic waves. So do all so, microwaves have the same frequency? Um, no, so the, they don't. You just make sure you so, check in the back. So not all light has the same? No, so different microwaves would have a different wavelengths, different places in the uh, distance in the chocolate would be melted. So that means that the speed of light isn't always the same? Always the same. Always the same. So any microwave you use, any chocolate, as long as you measure them accurately and you put in the formula, you would get the exact same result for the speed. Okay? Simple as that. Uh, as I said, you can use for cheese as well. Cheese would melt too. Or pizza. But make sure it doesn't spin. The reason, the reason this spins is um, so we have all part of the food can get heated. But if you don't turn it, you just leave it there without spinning. Only certain parts, like where the microwave hits. Mm -hmm. Sir, you can we pause this and then? Any question on this? Yes, can we eat the chocolate? <laughs> I knew you were going to say that.